Welcome to the Frontend No Limits. Today we will implement two examples of open closed principle in TypeScript and React. Here we have function example and React component example. Open closed principle states. Software entities should be open for extension, but closed for modification. This means we should write new code for new features, operations and so on, but existing code must not be changed. And if we don't change existing code, then there is minimum probability that the new feature will bring bugs into existing functionality. Originally, the author of the OCP in 1988, Bertrand Mayer, meant to use the inheritance in order to implement the principle. However, in frontend we use TypeScript or JavaScript, which is a multi-paradigm language. In React, we usually and mostly rely on the composition to not step into the known issues with inheritance. Even React documentation encourages composition over inheritance. This all means that we should adapt OCP a bit outside of the object-oriented realm. Now let's move on to the examples. I decided to cover two examples, function and React component, just because we use function and React components in our React and frontend applications. And I didn't see many examples out there about pure functions when we are talking about solid, only for the React components. So here we go. We have a simple and nice function called open dialog. What it does is just opening a dialog in our system. It's the main entry point for this operation. A regular dialog like this. The main scene is that it's the main entry point in our system, so this means it has many consumers. Ok, now I will show one example of an existing consumer. Here we have just a simple open dialog call. Let's assume one day our product manager or a client wants to add something more when we open the dialog. Let it be they want us to open the dialog with some kind of banner. Let me show you an example. It might be like our dialog and above there is some sale banner. So in order to adhere to the principle, we need to extend this code by not modifying it. Let's start with good example. As you've noticed, we have good and bad examples here. In the good approach, we have an absolutely new function that is called open dialog with banner. We are implementing the open closed principle here by employing a decorator design pattern. So this function implements the same interface. Let's take a look, it's exactly the same interface as the open dialog has, the same parameters and the return type, it's important. So we basically wrapped our open dialog and added more operations. This is exactly what this pattern is supposed to do. Let's go into some details about the decorator pattern. We are wrapping the original implementation, the original function, then we implement the same interface. By the way, this is one of the most important requirements of applying this pattern. Finally, we are adding some additional operations that we need to do like before this call or after this call. We can even do both. Let's type console.log. So it still works and implements the same interface. That's absolutely fine. We achieved the goal of the open closed principle. We extended this behavior but didn't modify any line of the source code inside of the open dialog file. It remains absolutely the same. This means that we can use this new function in new consumers and we shouldn't worry about breaking existing consumers of the open dialog function. As we saw previously, the existing consumer uses the same function. No line was changed here. Everything is pretty well. Regarding the new function open dialog with banner, we have a new consumer and we just use it. There is the same option backdrop with boolean value that is accepted by the original open dialog function. Let's see. Open dialog original has a backdrop option. It's not used, of course, it's just for the demonstration purpose. And I have a bonus point here. We are also adhering to the list of substitution principle here, just because we implement the same open dialog interface. In brief, this means we can use open dialog with banner in any places where open dialog is used. Or, as the LSP says, we can substitute one function with another, simply to take this function and use it in existing consumer. Now let's take a look at the bad approach. This is the same open dialog function, but for demonstration purposes it was replaced into another file. If we decide to change the existing implementation, then we will violate the open closed principle. 
As we can see, new lines of opening sales banner were added at the bottom of the functions body. Pay attention here. In this implementation, we have a conditional statement, when in the good approach we had no such one. Moreover, one more option param appeared as well, but we've already seen that it could be done without this. The code becomes more complicated than it could be. Every if statement might lead to increased cognitive complexity. Just imagine for a sec, what will happen to this function when the bigger team, like around 20 or 30 engineers, will be extending it by following this approach. So, why is this so bad? If there is a bug in the new code, then all the existing consumers will be affected. On the other hand, if we don't violate the OCP, then the potential bug will affect only the new feature. This scenario is much more expected when releasing the new stuff. In the React example, we have a card component which looks like this one. In the existing consumer, we pass props like image source URL, title and description as a string. One day we receive a new requirement. For the new consumer, we need to render a carousel of images in the card instead of one image. Here is some prototype example. Let's begin with a good approach. In order to achieve our goal, it's better firstly to refactor the initial card implementation and change its interface. But to do it the way where existing consumers will continue working without additional changes. The card's props will receive React node instead. String is a React node as well, so the existing consumer has no issues at all. Now there is no need to change component source code in order to bring something new for image, title or description. We can use composition concept for further extension of the card without its modification. Let's see how this works well in the new consumer code. Here we pass into image prop already instantiated carousel component, so the return type satisfies React node type. Moreover, it's only the responsibility of the new page component to decide how this carousel will behave and looks like. By the way, I didn't implement or install any carousel component in order to create this example. Instead, I used a very cool TypeScript feature, it's declare. It allows to postpone implementation but still benefit from types in the code. Another way, not the best one, to implement the new requirement is to modify the code of the card component. Unfortunately, this will lead to violation of the open-close principle. Here we have the first condition statement appearing in this component. Any further changes of the behavior of a carousel will force it to modify this component again. This approach will make code more fragile and the complexity will be only growing. This will lead to more difficult maintenance and to the higher risk of getting bugs. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos!